Hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it's time for me to bring you another FIFA 17 Karim Top Tips video and today I'm bringing you the second part of the best players to sign in Road to Glory career modes. This is pretty self-explanatory to be honest with you. These are young, low rated but with high potential players that you can buy for a small amount of money for, you know, sort of, you know, less than 800k or something, 200k to 800k for a small team. Uh, they'll then grow to have a good potential and you'll be able to use them all the way through your Road to Glory career modes where you won't have too much money, you'll have a small team and you'll need to buy, uh, buy low rated players for small amounts of money. If you do go on to enjoy the video then of course feel free to hit the likes button and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. The 12 young players in this video and the first is Cameron Carter Vickers of Tottenham. 62 overall centre back. Pretty good to be honest with you if you're if you're looking to be like a lead two side realistically he'd come in and probably do a pretty decent job. Obviously again these are very young players so you can train them and they'll be able to grow in attributes very quickly uh, whereas if you have an as like an older player then it's going to be very difficult to train them and get them to a solid overall for a League 2 side very quickly, but of course Carter Vickers is 18 years of age, good strength and sprint speed which is always good on a centre back, maybe training his defensive stats might be a decent idea. From the US, playing for Tottenham, you could easily get him on loan if you don't want to buy him, high defensive work rate, 3 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves, probably worth about 500k, maybe even less than that to be quite honest with you. And next up we've got the Ipswich central midfielder Andre Dozel, or Dozel, I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's Dozel. Uh, this was a suggestion actually in the last uh, one of these, um, so again if anyone's got any suggestions of players that you think should be in the next uh, one of these, I'm, I'm planning to do at least three. Uh, then drop those in the comments section. Uh, but Andre Dozel of Ipswich Town, 81 balance is his best attribute, 80, 80 agility, sorry, 76 sprint speed and 77 acceleration. So a pretty decent physicals page. Can play as a centre mid, attacking mid, 17 years of age, high attacking work rate, four star week for three star skill moves. And I think he's got about 81 potential. I think Carter Vickers had 80. Dozel I think has either 81 or 82, which is very solid, of course, for a young and uh, low rated player. Next up, we've got the 58 overall attacking midfielder, Sam Shrek from Bayer Leverkusen. Man like Sam Shrek. Uh, 77 agility and 71 balance are his best attributes. Decent dribbling as well, so you can already tell what sort of play he's going to develop into. Uh, not necessarily the paciest, but of course, will have good agility, will have good balance, and will have good dribbling once he's reached anywhere near his potential. Medium attacking and defensive work rate from Germany, playing in the Bundesliga. 17 years of age, he is very low rated, so he's only worth like £200,000, which is an absolute steal, because he's got like 82 potential, I think, which is absolutely ridiculous. So he's a, he's a little bit like um, that, what was his name, Marcus Edwards uh, from Tottenham last time. Uh, very low rated, but a very good potential. Obviously very cheap as well because of his low rating. That was Sam Schreck of Bayer Leverkusen. Next up, we've got the first striker in the video. This is Adam Luckman of Charlton. If you were an avid Wigan Athletic Road to Glory fan from last year, you'll know this guy because we signed him as a bit of a depth player. 84 acceleration, 84 sprint speed, 82 agility and 80 balance, which are very good uh, attributes for a 63 overall striker. Very pacey, very agile, uh, decent at dribbling as well. 18 years of age, got about 80 potential, medium attacking and defensive work rate, only 2 star skill moves which isn't ideal, but 4 star weak foot is pretty decent, he plays for Charlton Athletic in League 1. Next up we got the goalkeeper of the video is Georgi Nikolic, uh, or Nikolic of FC Basel, 63 overall, 69 handling, 66 reflexes and 63 diving. Uh, the only thing in terms of fundamental goalkeeping attributes that you probably need to train into him is his goalkeeping positioning. Uh, he's from Serbia, playing for Basel in the Swiss League, 19 years of age, very tall, 6 foot 5. Five. Uh, I'd say he's 19, that's pretty impressive, I'm the same age and I'm nowhere near, well I'm, I'm sort of almost that height. Uh, but 5 star weak foot as well for a goalkeeper, very interesting for him. Um, I don't think that's a very common theme uh, to get a goalkeeper with 5 star weak foot, so that's pretty cool. And again, he's got a very good potential as well, and he's only worth like 400k. Uh, next up we've got Mamadou Dukure, who's got a very good potential. I think this guy's got like 83 or 84 potential, so he'd easily suffice as a player to get you through an entire road to glory. You would ne not need to sell him at any point. 62 overall. Playing for Borussia Mönchengladbach, but he's from France. Uh, Left-footed, medium attacking, but low defensive work rate, which is really weird for a centre-back. 75 jumping, 72 strength, 72 balance. This guy's very weird to be a centre-back. I'm sure you could actually potentially train him to be something else, uh, to be quite honest with you, and that might be a decent idea, because he's so young, you can mould him into a different position. Uh, but he is a very good player with very high potential. Next up, we've got Claude Agiapong of Sassuolo in the Italian League. I think this is one player you can't buy in the first season, because I think he's only just signed for the Italian side but of course from then on from the January transfer window of season one onwards you'll be able to get him uh, decently pacey 78 acceleration some decent defensive stats as well as ball control uh, and jumping and agility crossings all right as well he's from Ghana high attacking work rate three star week for three star skill moves is a right back 63 overall with about 80 potential uh, next up we've got Shea Ojo of Liverpool 64 overall left midfielder uh, another pretty pacey player 82 acceleration 85 sprint speed decent strength as well 
well, I know it's only 62, but it's going to grow with his, his overall. Because he's only 64 overall. He's nowhere near his potential, which I do believe is 80 or 81. Uh, all right, dribbling as well as short passing and penalties too. From England, I think he's got a Nigerian name. I'm not entirely sure, but he's 19 years of age with about 80 or 81 potential. Medium attacking, but low defensive work rate. Left mid, but he's left footed. Uh, four star weak foot and three star skill moves as well there for Shea Ojo of Liverpool. Uh, next, we've got another Borussia Mönchengladbach player. This is Laszlo Benes of Slovakia. Uh, 65 overall attacking midfielder. Some decent green stats, actually, uh, for this guy. I'd say such a low rating. He's got some very good attributes, actually, quite, you know, sort of across the board. Uh, 76 agility, 79 balance. Uh, good short passing and curve, as well as ball control, crossing, and free kick accuracy as well, which is always good for a young player. Uh, you don't have to train that into him. Medium attacking and defensive work rate. He's left-footed, 18 years of age, three-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. Can play as an attacking mid, central mid, or a left mid. And I do believe he's got about 81 or 82 per potential. Um, I guess I'll leave all their so FIFA profiles in the description. That'll be a lot of effort for me when I'm uploading the video, but if you want to see their attributes and their potentials maybe, uh, then you can check those out. Uh, next up we've got Jerome Junior Onguene or JJ Onguene of FC Sochaux in uh, the French divisions. 82 jumping and 84 strength. Very solid for such a low rated player. That is actually ridiculous. He'd be an absolute tank in League 2. 71 stamina as well as some decent defensive stats, but again, because he's so young, it'll be easy to sort of mould him into a specific type of player or train him up on those defensive stats. Medium attacking defensive work rate from France, 18 years of age, 64 overall. Uh, the next player though is the Manchester City central midfielder Will Patching, 60 overall, another pretty cheap player. I think you can get him for about 400 to 450k, which is nothing, even for a League 2 side, that's pretty damn decent. And again, all the players here realistically will be available on a, on a loan deal. I don't think there's a single player that you wouldn't be able to get for a loan unless they're playing for a terrible team already. I think even someone like Andre Dozel who's playing for Ipswich in the championship uh, although obviously Ipswich aren't a very bad team but I'm sure every single player you could get uh, on loan. Uh, Will Patching there though pretty all-round central midfielder actually as well and again you could train him to become a specific type of player but a pretty all-round central midfielder there 60 overall. The final player though on the list is Jan Karamo of SM Khan who seems to be promoting and finding some absolute gems at the moment. I mean this team you know, the team that N'Golo Kante used to play for uh, before he signed for Leicester and they seem to be they just seem to have like a conveyor belt of good players. This this is another one, 67 overall, probably the priciest player on the list. If you're going for a road to glory from League One, this is definitely your guy when it comes to strikers because I think he's worth about a million. Uh, 84 acceleration, 81 sprint speed, 71 uh, dribbling, and also very uh, versatile, that's the word, versatile. Uh, can play on both wings and also as a striker as well. 18 years of age from France, and as I mentioned, playing for Khan in the French League Un. But that is about it for 12 players in this video, all of which are very much suitable for a road to glory. They're all cheap. They've all got relatively low ratings, so they're, but they're all, you know, good enough. At, you know, even if their overall, technically speaking, isn't good enough to be, you know, in League 2, the attributes that they are good at make them good in certain ways. There's certain players that maybe don't have a very good overall, but feel better to use uh, in game. And a lot of these players are in that sort of category. And obviously they've got great potential. So as you rise through the divisions, they'll get better and they'll start to match the divisions they're in. So once you get to the championship, a lot of these players will be a ton better. They'll be suitable for the championship and they'll also boss it in those divisions as well. Nevertheless, if you have enjoyed the video, then of course, feel free to hit the likes button, subscribe if you're new to the channel and comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much. Uh, you can also leave your suggestions for the next best Road to Glory uh, players to sign video. Bit of a mouthful there. But if you've got any other Road to Glory style players that you like to use, drop them in the comment section and I will include them in the next one. There's a playlist in the top right of the screen for the other top tips videos that I've done. Uh, so you can check out similar videos like this if you have any other issues when it concerns FIFA 17 career mode or any other players that you need to buy. Nevertheless, though, it has been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye. No, that's not me Act like a waste man, that's not me